Hello, Brickhouse Bones family. Dr. Lisa here, physical therapist and osteoporosis exercise professional. And you are back to episode 24 of Brickhouse Bones, where four new exercises every week to help you improve your posture, improve your balance, build strength and confidence so you can do all the things you love with the people you love. All right, now I really want you to come along and join me with this today. As we go through each one, we're going to do some snow angels either on the floor or on the wall. So if you're not a floor person, you can do them on the wall. We're gonna do some ballerina balancing, some wall sits, and we've been working up to this through all of this series. We're gonna begin some jumps. So, uh, Get ready and let's go. And I want to say thank you. Thank you. So many of you have been commenting, reaching out. You're engaging on the private Facebook group. If you're not a part of it, please join. We have a lot of fun over there and I share lots more information. So Gil from France, I see you. Ellen, Heather, Mary Ellen, Pam, Ellen, all of you guys, I appreciate you so much. There's so many more names I just can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm so grateful for how much you encourage me to keep producing this content and keep serving more people, and I appreciate you. All right, let's move into our four exercises. So we're gonna do a snow angel or a wall angel. I'm coming down on the floor. Yes, you can do this on the wall. Coming back up all the way against the wall. Try to get your head chin tucked. I have this just to demonstrate that if your head doesn't go all the way back without tilting up, you need to put support. So if you have a little bit of an upper back hump, please put a little support around your head. Palms up, open. So we're going to squeeze those shoulders back. And together we are going to do 10 snow angels, keeping contact with the floor as much as possible until our fingers touch overhead. And if you notice, I did allow the elbows to bend. That's just fine. Knees can be like mine are. I do want you to be squeezing here at the abs so the ribs pull down. Otherwise, you might find that as you're reaching up here, we get this big arch through the rib cage. We don't want that. We want to pull the ribs down, hold them there, and then let the arms slide back down, maintaining contact with the floor. Now, if that's not hard enough for you, straighten your legs. I prefer the bent knee version. We're going to rise up again, squeezing through the middle body and the belly button. Good. Touching back. Now, your arms may come off the floor a little bit. That's okay. Just allow them to be as far back or as close to the floor as they can get. Again, bending the elbows at the top so the fingers can come together. If you're up against the wall, it's the same concept. You want to keep the back of your hand as close to the wall as possible until you reach your arms overhead. And if you know me by now, you know I'm not very good at counting and talking at the same time. So I'm going to delegate two more reps here. Two more. Sweet big snow angel. Did you ever do this as a kid? If you did snow angels in the snow as a kid, give me a comment down below. And just say snow angel. I want to know. I did this a lot as a kid. All right. Excellent. I grew up in Maine, so we had lots of snow. Next, we're doing ballerina balance. So it's a bit like a flowing tree pose in yoga. So starting with your feet together, we're going to sweep the arms up and the foot up. We look kind of like a ballerina. I've never been a ballerina, but it's never too late. We're, sweet. We're doing five on each side. Do you have the motion? Do it with me. Let's do this today. And you can say you practice some bone health exercises today. One. I think I can count to five on this one. Shift your weight. Arms go up. Legs come up. So dynamic balance. Dynamic balance working arm and leg movement. Slightly more complicated than just standing on one leg. We have one more. Good. We need to do the other side. Don't forget it. Here we go. Good. Ooh, that's not as good a side for me. That left leg struggles a bit. We all have that. One more. 
Excellent. All right. So we have snow angels down. We have ballerina balance down. Next up, we have some wall sets. I'm grabbing my timer. I want to say hi to Karen and Lucille. I know you're watching. I hope to see you again. Okay. Coming down here. So your feet are going to be about a foot away from the wall, maybe a slight bit further. And don't do this yet, but the position we're going into is that knees are on top of the ankles and hips and knees are level. Now, if that's too hard for you and you need to start at a little bit more of an angle, do it. And what I don't want to see is that you're coming away from the wall. So we want to see the shoulders back, head on top of the shoulders as you're up against the wall. Now, if you can do it, get down so that your hips are parallel to your knees, shoulders back. I'm starting a 20 second timer. Here we go. So building a lot of tension, a lot of heat. This is considered an isometric exercise because we're not moving, but we're creating a lot of tension and contraction. And this has so many benefits, including lowering blood pressure. We had a fabulous study about that. 20 seconds. Excellent. Good job. Now, if you got to 10 seconds, hey, you did you. You did your best. That's great. If you practice that three times this week, I would do that every other day. Practice that. See if you can get a couple extra seconds each time. And that, you know, these exercises today are a good, a good routine that you could do easily three or four times this week and build up some endurance. So reasonably gentle, except for that one but as long as you don't do too many seconds at once. And that would be the strength component of our brick house bones. So if you're practicing that and you did 20 seconds, see if you can do three rounds in a setting. And as you did your snow angel, see if you can do 10 at a setting. And as we did our ballerinas, five to 10 per side. Now, last one up is jumps and we've been working different jump preparation and jump activity. But now I want to see if you can actually load the spring and get a tiny bit of air under those feet. So if you've been working on this and you feel like you can, so we're going to hips go back, hands go back. So everything is primed and ready and we're shooting straight up. Do what feels safe and comfortable for you. Come up and you still get to land like a spring. And if that is really challenging and you know you're not quite ready for that, use your countertop, use a chair in front of you, push through the arms as you do it. Even if you get a tiny sliver of daylight under those feet, that is success. That is a victory. And I'm just so stinking proud of you for trying. So let's go for five jumps together. Five jumps. One, two, Three, four, five. So that's our power and impact brick house bones exercise of the week. Snow angels for posture and spinal strength. We had our dynamic balance. We had our strength wall sit and our power and impact jumps. This is the recipe for success to help, prote <laughs> to help protect our bones and prevent fractures. Hey, thanks y'all for joining me. I'll see you again next week. I appreciate you watching.